G'day guys, Sarge here from What's It Like. Now, unless you've been living under a Geodude this past couple of weeks, you're probably aware of a game called Power World, which is frequently referred to as Pokemon with guns. The game has sold an eye-watering 8 million copies with an estimated 7 million downloads on Xbox's Game Pass platform as well. The game has far exceeded expectations and received a lot of coverage, both positive and negative, ranging from unproven accusations of using generative AI, virtual animal cruelty, and many players also praising the game. All of this has put Power World under the watchful eye of the Pokemon company, which has issued a statement causing everyone to run with the story that Pokemon will sue Power World. But will they? Let's take a look. The Pokemon Company statement reads, We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon's intellectual property or assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. Now, while at face value, it may seem like this is an opening salvo towards Power World, in my opinion, this statement was issued in regard to the Pokemon mod by Australian content creator Toasted Shoes that surfaced shortly after the Power World launch. This statement was actually issued 48 hours after that mod video went live and its corresponding videos were also taken down. And if we take a closer look at the words, we have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon's intellectual property or assets in that game, it becomes a bit clearer that they are referring to Pokemon assets modded into the game and not the game itself. The second part of the statement I feel is refer to how they don't want to see Pokemon videos of them shooting each other or being consumed by the player, as well as a method of capturing pals because Pokemon players don't physically beat Pokemon into submission with a club. We use other Pokemon to achieve that instead. Now, I should state that I'm not a lawyer in any sense and my only legal experience is uh, one time I ate a two litre tub of ice cream and binge watched the entire seasons of Suits on Netflix, but the Pokemon company has been aware of the game since 2021 when it was launched and they could have taken legal action any time between that announcement and today. Now, considering Nintendo's ruthlessly efficient legal team, which is super effective, if they intended to stop the game, they would have done so much earlier, especially since the Toaster Chew videos were almost instantly taken out. Mod hosting sites have stopped the hosting of the files for fear that Nintendo will come for them next, and Nintendo has a long history of taking down modders, ROM sites, and ironically, hackers named Bowser. Toaster Chews also confirmed in a video informing his 700,000 followers that Nintendo was indeed behind the copyright strike on that video. As for my opinion that nobody asked for on the Power World discourse in flaming social media right now, I think it's downright disappointing as it's taken away attention from games and the things that we should be talking about right now, like the current layoffs in the industry or the incredible reboot of the Prince of Persia series, which apparently has fallen short and it was instantly almost dwarfed by the AI plagiarism and startling abuse directed at the developers of Power World. There was also another knock-on effect where the abuse was also being directed towards the Pokemon company and its employees with people saying that this is the game Pokemon should have been. While I know more recent iterations of Pokemon have been in a rough shape, hurling abuse at the developers won't fix that, and yes, Pokemon could certainly benefit from a shake-up. But threatening to kill someone because they created a game isn't going to do it. With the industry hurting, social media creating further divisions, and just how shitty the world is sometimes, wouldn't it be nice if we criticised fairly? We can criticise Power World on one hand for its heavy inspiration of existing IPs and models, but on the other hand we can also praise it for its fun approach to gameplay and mechanics to create something new and engaging for players. Discourse and abuse shouldn't have a place in the video games industry as it doesn't encourage innovation. It suppresses it. That's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, I, if you've been playing Power World, let me know in the comments below. I want to know what you thought of it. And if you are a Pokemon fan like myself, what do you want to see from the series? Let me know.
Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Because of amazing people like you, What's It Like is now my full-time job. I also do want to do a special shout out to my Patreons, S Hill, K Skip, and D Kite. I couldn't have done it without your support. Thank you.